Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here, I'm going to show you how to get Mirun's Razor in Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowin. So this is a dagger weapon that you're able to get by completing a, a quest by the name of Mirun's Dagon's Quest. This is uh, one of the Daedric Shrine quests in the game. So uh, first we're going to need to get to that Daedric Shrine. And where you see me standing at right now is the town of Balmora, which is a nice little neutral starting location that basically everybody's familiar with. So in order to get to the Mirun's uh, Daedric Shrine, what we're going to need to do is first travel to Nissus. So in order to get there, we're going to have to ride the Silt Strider up to Aldrun, and then from Aldrun, we're going to go to Nissus. I think we can go straight to Nissus from Aldrun, but if not, we'll have to go to Margan first. Indeed, we can go to Nissus. So once we're in Nissus, we need to go to the northeast of where we are now. There's a small little island with, uh, with the shrine on it. So in order to get up there, what we're going to do is use our far jump spell. This buffs our jump by 100 points for 3 seconds and it allows us to travel great distances with relative ease, as you're seeing here. So it, we actually basically landed right at the shrine that we need to be at. This is, uh, I'm fairly confident this is the shrine. So let's uh, wait for my, wait for a little bit of health and wait for my jump to, uh, my buff to fade so I don't rocket off into the stratosphere. And let's look for the door because I always forget where the door is to this place. I'm pretty sure it's up this, uh, weird staircase here because this is like Daedric Ruins. And yes, this is the right place. Yaz, Yazamidan, however it is pronounced. It is worth mentioning you'll find NPCs like this guy in here. Uh, there's one more below, but this NPC drops sanguine items right here. Make sure you uh, loot these and keep track of them because uh, they're used in a um, quest from, what's his face? Eno Halal, part of the Morag Tong guild. Uh, if you ever plan on doing that quest, you'll need to collect these items slash keep track of these items when you find them. And this lady drops, I think, another one. Indeed, she does. So uh, just keep, keep that in mind, keep track of them. So once you're here, you will need to interact with the statue of Mivrun's Dagon right here. Why do you call He'll go through a long spiel before finally giving you a uh, journal entry. Yet you show metal by even approaching me. How ambitious are you, little one? Would you like a chance to prove your worth to me? You are Make sure you tell him that you want to prove foolish. your worth. Like you just seen the prompt come up there. This then is and he basically to tells you what you got to do. My so, uh... Slayer of man and myrrh, scourge of all let me recall back to Balmor, because that's, uh, where we need to go. Our next destination bearer, is the town of Molag Mar. It lies He's basically... Gathering dust in the he already gave us the journal entry, Molag so I don't Mar. think we need to wait around for him Return to finish talking. More. Guess we'll find out, though, if, uh, if we can't complete the quest. So, in order to get to Molagmar, what we want to do is, uh, from Balmora, I think we're going to take the Silt Strider to Vivek, and then we're going to take the boat to Molagmar. Because I don't think we can take the Silt Strider from Vivek to Molagmar, although I might be mistaken. So, let's go to Vivek first via Silt Strider, and then let's check the Silt Strider here. Will you take me to Molagmar? Indeed, you will. So, we'll just go to Molagmar via the, uh, Silt Strider. And of course, there's a sandstorm going on, so we're going to need to rest for a little bit so we can actually see what the frig we're doing. Yeah, 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 level up. That's fine. Uh, so, okay, we're going to a dungeon that is pretty much directly north of Molagmar. So, uh, let me face directly north. Let me memorize my far jump spell, since that'll get us there in one go. And uh, what we're looking for is a dungeon by the name of Alas, Ancestral Tomb. So, uh, let me see. What is that area right here? Well, we clearly went a little bit too far, but that's okay. Because we can just hop toad back. So, where is my hop toad? Right here. And I will need to drink another, uh... Intelligence potion. So I have the mana for all of this stuff. So, looking at the map where we are now. Let me see what this dungeon is up here. Because this will tell me where we need to go. I'm pretty sure this should be the Arethan Ancestral Tomb right here. Which means that the dungeon we need is just a little bit to the south. 
indeed a wreath and ancestral tomb so the dungeon we need is right there to the south it's basically a stone's throw away from where we are we got closer than i expected i thought i overshot it but we actually landed like basically right next to it so inside of this dungeon what we need to do is get a rusty dagger off of uh, one of the skeleton corpses in the back so as you can see the dungeon itself is pretty 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 small and uh pretty linear too I think this is the way to the, uh, I mean, there's, there's only like two ways we can go. So no, this isn't the room that we need. Is this the room? Nope. Aha, here's the room we need. It stands out. You can see the, uh, the skeletal corpse right here. Varner Hilaris corpse. And on his body, you'll find a rusty dagger. This is the item we need. So now that we have that, it's time to go back to Merun's Dagon. So in order to get back there, what we're going to do is recall to Balmora, and then we're basically going to do the same thing we did last time. Ride the Silt Strider to Nissus, and then uh, from Nissus, we'll use our far jump spell, and we will get there in no time at all. Not getting very lucky with the weather effects during this video. First sandstorm, now fog. Probably going to be a sandstorm here, indeed. We make a special. So, like, like we did before, we got to aim ourselves in the appropriate direction we need, and then jump. Bam. We basically reached our uh, destination again. Aimed it pretty well. It fell a little bit. Uh, went a little bit too far. Hit the wrong pillar. And then since there's like no way to climb out of this water, we're going to have to use water walking. This, uh, this shrine is a real nightmare to navigate around. It's a pain in the butt. Finally, crawl our way back into the shrine and then interact with the statue, and then we are done the quest. And we should be getting Ma Mirun's Dagon. Uh, Mirun's Razor, rather. He'll turn the rusty dagger into the razor. You found my razor. The, uh, all you have to do is interact with the statue, and then he will give you the weapon. And that's all there is to it. You're now officially done the quest. Let me find that. Let me find the item in my inventory, though. Where is it? Draw right there, Maroon's Razor. The land in the name of it's as Maroon's simple as that. Dagon. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully it answered your questions. If, uh, if I got anything wrong or left anything out, please let me know in the comment section below. That way everybody gets all the information they need. And of course, if this video did help you out, please leave me a like because that helps me out. Aside from that though, I will catch you guys around in future Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind videos. Peace.